So by the end of this video, you're either going to have this Python console program, or you're going to have this GUI if you choose to download it from my GitHub. So this GUI here, you can press load, you can load in your image, then you can press convert, give your text file a name, let's say bling bling boy. Then you can go ahead and open up where you saved it. So I have it here. Here we have bling bling boy .txt. opening this up. As you can see, we have bling bling boy in all his glory. Let's get into the video. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do in this video is actually create the console version of this. So here I have my script. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install pi what kit. So I have my terminal here and just using pip, I'm going to say pip install pi what kit. For me, it's going to say a requirement already satisfied because I've already installed this. But for you, if you haven't installed it, then it should just install with no worries. So here we can go ahead and say import pi what kit, then we can make our image input file path and our text file path. So we can go ahead and say image file path equals input, enter the path of the image to convert. And we're going to convert this to a string in case the user enters a number or something. Then we're going to say save file path is equal to again, string input, enter the path of the file to save the text in. All right, now we can go ahead and use the one line of magic that converts the entire thing to a text file, which is pi what kit dot image underscore to ASCII art, we're going to pass an image file path and save file path. We're almost done here. We can go ahead and run this and try it out. But what I'm going to do here is actually put in a path that's not really a path. So let's say something like test and test again. And when we run this, when we press enter, rather, it's going to give us an error. Obviously, if our path does not exist, we don't want an error. So we're going to go ahead and use some error handling. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where you check if your program runs any errors, and then you do some code based on that. So we're going to say try to do that. And if it doesn't work, except then we're going to say print error. And now, when we run this again, and put in a file path that doesn't exist, it's going to say error. All right, though, let's actually test this out with a file path. So running this again, I'm going to go ahead and find the file path of the image I want. So right here, I have Patrick, and I want to get the path of him. So I'm going to go ahead in my file explorer and say copy path. Pasting it in here, we can delete the quotations. Now we're going to need the path of the file to save the text in. So we can go ahead and press the up arrow key on our keyboard to grab this path and then just change patrick.jpg to patrick.txt. And that should work. Hitting enter here, nothing happens, no errors are returned. If we go ahead and open up our file explorer, as you can see, now we have patrick.txt. If we open this up, as you can see, we have Patrick. So that works. Now let's go ahead and download the GUI version of this and run that. So right here, I have my GitHub, which is going to be in the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, download zip. So opening up the zip file here, I'm going to click extract all. And there we go. Now I can go ahead and open this folder with Visual Studio Code and run YouTube GUI dot pi. So once again, it's going to give me this GUI, I can go ahead and press load, then I can load in bling bling boy again. Then I can press convert, put in bling bling boy. And if we go ahead and open up our file explorer, once again, we have bling bling boy dot txt. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. Now you can convert images to ASCII text files using Python. If you liked the video, please consider liking it. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Keep in mind that a whopping 6.9 trillion billion sextillion percent of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you want to bring that down to around 6.8, then uh, yeah, consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, have a good day.